Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethel Lutheran Church, here with the daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week, we're talking about Noah. Noah can be a hard story to read as it talks about God's punishment for all mankind. But it also shows us God's mercy as God chooses to save Noah. Yesterday, I spoke about how the story of Noah's salvation is an archetype for our salvation in Jesus Christ. As the ark was a vehicle for salvation for Noah, the cross of Christ is a vehicle for salvation for you and I. Today, I want to look a little closer at Noah and what he has to teach us. Our Bible verses start today at Genesis 6, the 11th chapter. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you are to make it. The length of the ark, 300 cubits. Its breadth, 50 cubits. And its height, 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark and finish it to a cubit above. And set the door of the ark in its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. For behold, I will bring a flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh, in which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh you shall bring two of every sort into the ark, to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female, of the birds according to their kinds, and of the animals according to their kinds, of every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind. Two of every sort shall come in to you to keep them alive. Also take with you every sort of food that is eaten and store it up. It shall serve as food for you and food for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. Could you imagine being Noah? Not a cloud in sight, and yet God asks you to build an ark, a giant ship. It must have taken a long time for him to build it. And not only did he have to build the ship, but he had to get two of every kind of animal, bird, and creeping thing and bring them aboard also. What a daunting, scary, and almost absurd task that God has given Noah. Yet Noah doesn't flinch. Not in the least, it says Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. Noah's obedience is an example for us. In life, God is gonna ask you to do some things that are hard. Some things that seem nonsensical. Some things you don't understand. Yet you're going to feel the pull to do them. And we're called to obedience. Noah is blessed through his obedience. We too are blessed in ours. You see, God sent Jesus. And through our faith in him, we have salvation not because of what we do, not because we deserve it, but because God loves us. And Jesus is his vehicle of salvation. But in response to that salvation, we show obedience, using people like Noah as an example. Hopefully you found some comfort in these words, some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. And if there's anything I can do for you, you can reach me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. As always, 
God bless you. Have a wonderful day.